Pastor Steve, you made a wonderful point earlier, and I really want to expound on it. You said that you believe, you know, they're crossing over all of these Ninevehs, but it's not a Sodom and Gomorrah. There is a chance for redemption. What does redemption look like across the globe, but specifically here in the United States of America? Well, redemption would start with uh, righting all the injustices, right? The censorship Amen. against the Word of God. The censorship of the Amen. Bible in the schools. These things must be exposed and ended. And we go all the way to the top of all the elites and the people who went to Jeffrey Epstein's island. Justice and peace and redemption would mean all of the abused children will finally get their justice. I believe that we have the authority to actually call down justice. You know, the Bible talks about calling down fire. That's, that's something that was characteristic of Elijah's ministry. Amen. It's an end time ability, an end time calling. But you know what? The church has to be moral before it can call down fire. Amen. And that's my plea is I'm not here to try to say the church is wrong and, and people are, are condemned. No, we need to clean up our lives because we have such a mission from Jesus. We have such that's authority right. and power that he wants us to exercise and use in these last days. And we can call justice down on this nation, but we must be just and we must be morally pure ourselves. So Amen. we have to examine our heart. That's where we, the redemption begins. The revival begins when the church itself begins to repent. Amen. And, and repent for what? For its lukewarmness. Yeah. That's right. We're so rich and comfortable. And we've been lukewarm for so long. We even allow our teenagers to live in sin. People lose their virginity in the church like it means nothing. These things have got to stop. Amen. Then we can walk in the authority as Amen. a full region with Jesus. I believe there is a righteousness and a purity coming to the church in America. It starts in the pulpit. So pastor, if you are watching this or congregant, if you are watching this, continue to pray. Holy Spirit, I do not want my heart to be hardened towards you. I want your conviction to allow, or I want to allow your conviction to fully expose anything in my heart that I need to repent of. And I promise you, he will expose it and you will have the opportunity to say, Lord Jesus, I lay this at your feet. I no longer want to carry this shame and this burden. I simply want to carry your yoke, which is light, it's easy, and I want to be covered in your blood.